Right then, gang, is today the day? Probably not. Statistically, this is very unlikely. But it could be, as Manchester City face Arsenal, our rivals, our local rivals, West Ham United, are away at Southampton, and we have an away tie, sorry, at Hull. Now, you can see there, all three teams are 75 points, hotting up viewers. The best part of this is I will definitely finish in the top three for the first time, so that's exciting. And Champions League football will be coming to the Riverbank next season. There is some uh, there's some news on next season coming up at the end of the episode. Stay tuned. There's It's worth listening to. It's big news. Big, not good news. So, with it all to play for, Manchester City, Thames and West Ham vying for the title. Uh, City have won it for the last two years. Manchester United were dominant before that for a long period. And uh, it's going to be up to us then to try and upset the apple cart and get amongst it, as well as West Ham. It, I, I think, weirdly, I would quite like it to be us or West Ham because it'd be a new Premier League winner in the history of the Premier League. So that would be quite nice. In all the years we've played, you can see there, Ben Hur, 36 goals, 36 games played by Thames, 36 goals for, for Ben Hur. He's not played 36 games, actually. What is his ratio? Let's take a quick look at that. Uh, 33. Not too bad at all then, uh, one of the stars of the show. And Carlos Ferrer with a lot of assists, and that's probably where people think he should play every game he plays today. Don't worry. Right then, Hull first game, let's get it. So team-wise, this is what we're working with for this first game. Uh, Frank will not be playing as the libero, I'm so sorry. But after the FM19 news, actually I'll say that now, if you missed my FM19 feature uh, reaction sort of video, there's a link in the description for that, check it out. You can now play three liberos, very excited. Uh, Calvo will be in goal then, Antonio Eriksson and Signe and Diallo will play as the back four. This might be the last episode, you see them as the back four to be fair. Uh, Jimenez and Hellenum just in front with Mackay one side, Miquelino the other and Ferreira in behind Ben Hur. Recent form has been pathetic. Let's see if we can pick it up today. Uh, I'm going to retain possession and not pass into space. That's going to be really my big change for today. Keeping the ball against better side, against worse side, sorry, like Hull, should give us the opportunity to uh, to have more clear cut chances. Something I don't think we're necessarily converting nearly enough. So here we go, game time. And of course, we will be keeping a sharp and close eye on uh, what happens in the other games. It's very important what the other two get up to. This is the this is the moment really where we can put ourselves in pole position. Uh, West Ham have a tricky ish game against Southampton, but. City play Arsenal. If Arsenal can do something and we win our game, showtime. All right, it seems that Shavar should be winning without any problems at all. I'm going to go for sort of the arrogant... Look, come on, boys. Let's, let's not mess about here, shall we? Okay, here we go then. Ha oh, ha. I'm excited. Uh, the scores are on that left-hand side. Then the table. I mean, I'm going to just make it a top three. I hope that's okay with everyone. And I will just reveal the goal difference in that top corner. Hopefully, it doesn't affect things too much. As uh, the first chance of the game is holes, actually. Which they go close. Okay, then. So far, West Ham are behind. Okay, breaking news uh, from... From St. Mary's as they go behind, although Hull, okay, what the, what the hell is that? What is going on at the moment? We're behind, it was so at West Ham, but we're behind too. I started attacking, think it'd be good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna come off that straight away. Barfoot played it into Grimes. It's the, it's the pass that comes up in a moment that I can't figure out. This one here, why, why would you? Okay, 1-0 Hull. He's got, he's basically clearing on goal there. City have taken the lead against Arsenal. It's got worse. This is the game I was looking at, thinking, ah, oh, we'll, we'll get a few in this one. Oh, City have scored again. Their goal difference is getting even better. City have got, have got four in 17 minutes. It's over. Ferreira, a chance to equalise here for us, maybe. Miquelino, Jimenez, it's gone in. It's offside. Of course, it bloody is. I mean, Southampton are doing the job against West Ham, but City are 4-0 up against Arsenal already. Free kick played in. Eriksen's there. Ben Hur, penalty? No? Okay, well, I thought it would have been. As uh, they counter now, Lewis plays it inside to Barfoot, and, and Hull looking very dangerous. Luckily, they went for goal. 5-0 to City. What? The goal difference has been blown apart here, viewers, as uh, we're still a call behind at Hull. Miquelino, though, right side. Can we get back into the game and maybe give us a chance in that last game uh, when we play Tottenham? Jimenez, the ball forward, not the best. I'm sort of zooming in and out inexplicably here. As uh, they continue to bring it forward. Looking very dangerous at Hull. I, I don't like the fact they're decent on the counter-attack. All right, are we going to build something up here? Miquelino, as he looks to beat his man, and doesn't gives it away hole forward again here causing us all sorts of problems that shooting's not going to be a problem though i can't believe city are five nil up in the, in the first half arsenal are like all right uh, we're not really getting a grip of this game at all we've not seen a real good chance apart from the goal that was scored that was offside as Miquelino on that right hand side looking to cause problems the delivery is good towards Ben Hur doesn't get there Lewis heads away but Diallo's going to recycle this and another chance to come Thames his way Mackay great first touch inside for there with an opportunity <laughs> Oh, oh, it's paining me a little bit. Diallo on a 6.2. I mean, Pierre might have to come on at half-time. In fact, I'm going to waste no time. Pierre's coming on. Maybe he can carry us over the line. As, um, I mean, Ben has having a shocker. I'll keep him right there for another 20 minutes. But I guess we'll see. We'll move to control. We're already trying to retain possession. I mean, 
do I stick with it? I guess we stick with it. I want us to be more expressive. Don't get stuck in. Let's try and create something magical here. Come on, viewers. Come on, viewers. I don't know what I'm asking you to do. Players. Team. Right, Arsenal. If you could score a quick five, that'd be great. Because if we don't win this, or at least get a point, the, the title dream is over. But maybe a chance for us now. As Antonio, filling back in at right back. Plays Miquelino down this right-hand side. He looks like the, the key source has been... Uh, Miquelino has been the real problem maker for Hull in this game. At what point do you bring Obrenek on? That's the question. I mean, time is starting to tick away. Pierre's off the pitch with an injury. Of course he is. As uh, the loose ball falls to Mackay. Now, we have 10 men right now, but maybe we're better with 10 men. Who knows? Sometimes it's harder to beat them, so I've heard in the past. As Miquelino races forward, looking to cause more problems. Finds a lot of inside as he goes again. Pierre's back on the pitch. Lovely. Get back into a, 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 a defensive line as Ben Hur finds the finish. 6-0 to City, by the way. But we're back in the lead. Oh, back in the lead. We're not. We're drawing, which is good enough. A win is ideal, obviously, because then if City draw or lose their final game and we win it, we win the league. But situations here. We need to get another one. Ferreira taps it to Ben Hur, whose finish is very good, actually. That's why you keep him on the pitch. In recent episodes, I've taken him off a few times. Don't be doing that. As a corner is to be played in. Sorry that it's in the way a little bit, as we just about get that clear. Blimey. That was definitely going to be a goal. As uh, West Ham still behind 2-0. City destroying Arsenal. And we need another goal, really. I mean, what do you change at this point? Do you bring on another midfielder? I think Banner for Obrenek. Uh, sorry, Banner for Jimenez might be the ticket. We'll bring him on as a playmaker as well. And we'll just see then. Final 10. Can we get this done? We'll switch to attacking two. Push for this goal. It's fair to say, viewers, we need to score here, really. It's not happening. With four minutes to go... I'm going to bring a goal scorer on in Herzog, see if he can make the final breakthrough as the time is ticking away. And it's been a, quite the bottle job at the end of this season. Unless we score right now, Ben Hur beats his man. Ben Hur, if he'd have done that, I'd have, I'm oh, if he'd have done that. Oh, so going into the final game, the dream isn't dead. It. The, uh, the dream should have been dead. Oh my, how have they not scored? Okay, not ideal. A draw. I mean, to be fair, City's goal difference is... is they better win their next game, otherwise this is, a, this is a disaster, isn't it? Unlucky boys, it wasn't our day. I can't say that. I'm going to have to bollock them. It wasn't good enough. They're fired up. Final game against Tottenham coming up then. And it's still to play for. There's now some separation. West Ham pretty much can't win the league. It's us, or it's Manchester City. We play Tottenham at home. Eighth place Tottenham. Pretty difficult game. I can't recall who City play. Hopefully someone very difficult. All right, just to get in on that, actually. Who do they play? Let's find out right now. So they play West Bromwich Albion away. Okay. Claude McAuley is the city manager. I didn't know that. West Brom down in 16th. Uh, don't need to win. But Halilovic is... That's that's just as weird. Football manager wonder kid, Alan Halilovic. Halilovic, he's manager of them. We need him to do the business, really. Their best player is Macab. I need Macab to go big. He's decent, to be fair. Pierre's injured. Seven days. Can't play the next game. So that's that's gone well. Right, we can do a team meeting. To try and encourage the team to win the league, which is difficult when it needs... I mean, I'd like to give a team into City. That'd be easier. The title isn't in our hands going into the last day of the season, which is a disappointment considering what is expected of us. Go out there and make sure we make the most of any slip-ups. That's what you've got to say. I, well, I mean, what? I mean, no, we weren't expecting to win it, but we, we certainly have bottled it at the end of the year. I respect, I respect that you've all got opinions. I, I don't know where to go with that. Like, you're sure we weren't expected to, but halfway through the season it was like, ah, oh, we were a contender here. I understand it was difficult. If the morale taking that much of a hit, it's not too bad. I'm tempted to play all the players that agree with me, but that is favouritism. Says the guy that created a tactic based on the libero position. Uh, there's a lot of love for the libero. A lot of people want to see the libero back, and there's no one that has suffered more than Edson Jose, who was brought in to be the backup. He's, not, he's, he's played five games. Isn't he? It cost me, it's cost me money as well. It's... Okay then, folks. Team-wise... I'm at sixes and sevens here, really. I'm not entirely sure if this is the... But they're, they're like, statistically, this is the best team. I'm going to play... People... People... Are, you're wincing a little bit, aren't you? I think I'm going with Herzog over Ferreira, who recently for me has been very... Oh, like it's, it's so weird. Like, last game he got an assist, though. And he is an assist machine. But we didn't win. Whereas with Herzog, he's a goal machine. But recent form, he's been he's been pathetic. I can't play Herzog. Oh, it's so annoying. I mean, Thorben Dorf is going. What's that? What's that, Thorben? Can I? Good tag. Can I get a game? No, Thorben, you're not you're not under consideration for this game. Can I at least be on the bench? You can be on the bench, Thorben. All right, you can be on the bench. And Herzog's going to come off the bench because he's not been that good recently. Right then, here we go. Game time. Ho ho ho! <sighs> a lot of people say we should play him as a playmaker, which I kind of agree with. We'll we'll change that up. It's a lot of supportive players here. 
I'm going to put one defensively. I'm going to get Michelino bombing forward. Antonio, at, at sort of right back, is a bit more defensive minded. So I feel like you can afford to have the winger in front of him playing more attacking. In, that's what my head's saying. Okay, we need to beat Tottenham, who uh, are a decent side. Pietro, decent little striker, someone to be aware of. So, um, I mean, we've just got to do our job and hope West Brom do theirs as key spoilers. All right, let's uh, let's go for the passion. I have faith in you, guys. there, do the business. Um, Tottenham, not as good, obviously, as they are in real life these days on FM, but we'll see how we get on. As uh, Here we are then. Thames versus Tottenham, West Brom versus Manchester City. There's there's two fixtures that matter, and they're next to each other down the bottom there. Keep your eyes peeled. West Ham have taken an early got an early lead. If we lose today, we could still finish third, which would be disappointing. Um, I'm not sure where to put the match stats okay we'll just hide those over there for now second half we might bring them out as Bakai's ball into the middle is cleared comfortably but a chance for us to recycle and uh Ben Hur so equally no cannons off him Taylor's going to get that there still seems to be a chance in this for us if we can find the perfect pass as uh Flair now playmaking can he slot someone through he's gone out to Antonio love that ball to be played in and he's Mackay take makes it one nil and if we take a look at the uh the league table it puts us right up there with Manchester City who I do believe actually no we Sure, that puts us ahead. Oh, no, because they're drawing currently. Yes, they need to lose. Ah, bollocks. Yeah, that is a problem. We need to score a lot if they draw. Like, about 10. Unless... Oh, yeah, that's, that is a problem, actually. But good news. 10 mistake a 1-0 lead at the Riverbank. Uh, home form has been really good this year. Hopefully, it can continue. We can, we can win this game by a few. Of course, City went 5-0 up against Arsenal very quickly. If we could do the same against Spurs, that'd be superb. As uh, Mackay on it now and he's got options to his left as he finds Diallo the ball in's got to be good though Ferreira dictating things Jimenez now into Ben Hur he's offside I mean it was quite the strike though it's a shame nothing came from that really West Brom come on West Brom score we're winning the league title that's the situation we're in the fact we're even in this position is quite exciting I mean 25 minutes gone still 1-0 it, it, it all depends on what West Brom do it's all dependent on West Brom Sure, yeah, we have to win, but we're doing that at the moment as that's cleared. Not particularly well. And, uh, I mean, two goals, a cushion. That's what I'd like. If we could just be 4-0 up and we can focus on West Brom, that would be perfect. The ball breaks to Jimenez now, then, as uh, a chance for us. Mackay, the goal scorer on this left-hand side, causing problems. Ball in's decent. Miquelino's hit the bar from a yard away. Flipping heck. Elsewhere, Manchester City West Brom is 1-1. Goals have gone in for either side. City took the lead with uh, Dunovic, if I think that's how you say it. And uh, West Brom equalised with Irvine. Okay, it's all, all to play for. We've scored 100 goals this season. I didn't realise that was our 100th goal as Ferreira's corner. Can we make it 101? Antonio goes for a, a distant shot. A distant shot. A long shot, I think they're known as. A distant shot. Ferreira to Michelino. Chance for us here. Michelino, he's got to do better. The ball is sort of stopping. It's a free kick to Spurs in the end. But oh my dearie me. The highlights of this first half are coming very quickly. As uh, Michelino again on that right-hand side. Causing problems. Ball played in. Easily dealt with by the goalkeeper. You can see from that first half though. 14 shots. 8 on target. 65% possession. A dominant display from the Thames boys. Hopefully we can keep this now. And not concede late in this first half. Stupidly. Because they've had very limited opportunities to do anything in this game i'm now very nervous oh i can feel it i can feel it i don't know where it's coming from oh we've missed okay we're fine okay we're still one nil west brom have scored against manchester city which is more than what arsenal did we just need a late west brom goal okay as we get to half time uh at city it remains oh west brom city 1-1 one, one. Thames lead spurs we've got to stay in the lead we need another goal really i need this to be more comfortable things are going well you're capable even better i don't know if we are actually that was a very good first half but look how tight it is at the top. The leagues that the winners this year might win it with 79 points and at a maximum 81, which is not a lot. <sighs> okay, come on. Throw in deep in their half. West Brom still holding City to a 1-1 as Bakai with a chance here. That would have been a lovely goal. 20 minutes left to go and still nothing happening. Nothing happening here. Oh, it's a penalty. City have scored. That might have put the death nail in it. I've been keeping things exactly the same through fear. Thorben Dorfer might as well come on for the for the love of it. As it looks as if, though, it's not going to be enough for us. I mean, West Brom are going to have to do something pretty good. Oh, it's 4-1 City. Like, from, from where? Where has that come from? How is it suddenly 4-1 as Spurs win on goal as well? I mean, they've got to score, surely. What are they doing here? Messing about big time. We clear it. Oh, how have they gone from being 1-1 to 4-1 up? I mean, yeah, they've scored three. But look at that. 71, 76, 78. Just banged them, banged them in. Ruined my fun. Is it going to go from bad to worse from here? I suppose going to get an equaliser. Antonio clears. Mackay's on that. He's injured, but he's sprinting after it. And is there a counter-attack opportunity for us? There's a man running down the middle. Mackay switches it big across to Insigne. Him and has to make it two. Oh, for goodness sake. 
I mean, the dream is dead. When City scored three very quickly, that, that killed the dream of a Premier League title. But there's always next year, viewers. There's always next year. Oh, there was a moment there where I thought we could do it and we were going to win the league just sort of out of nowhere almost. But if you don't lose for 20 games, you will put yourself in contention. Dorfer, I mean, he's on the ball. It's the final seconds of the game. He wins the corner. But I suspect, viewers, that is going to be that. Thames are going to win 1-0. City are going to win 4-1. West Ham won their game as well. Not that it mattered. But City win the league. Thames just behind. And... Um, we gave it a good shot, to be fair. <laughs> Passionately say, good work out there, lads. Uh, you did what was needed of you today. We did. We won the game. What more can I ask? Beating Hull would have been nice. And some of those other games earlier would have been good too. Oh! Uh, Thames received 37.8 million for uh, for our league finish. We'll send our assistant off to that for now. And um, in terms of FFP, oh, we broke the rules. We broke the rules, but we came second. So I would dare say it was worth it. Uh, loads of little bits of news as well. Record high for Thames. Second in the Premier League. Fifth last year. Not bad at all. Uh, ben Hur breaks the Premier League goalscoring record with 37 goals, which is very good. Wins Football of the Year as well. Uh, players Player of the Year. Wow, he's winning everything. Top goalscorer award, of course, as noted. Players Young Player, Ben Hur. Ben Hur won everything. Oh, my word. I won Manager of the Year. Came second. Manager of the Year. I don't have a trophy. Oh, I don't have a tr I literally don't have anything lying around. I've got, I've got a mug with the letter B on it. Does that count? That counts, surely. Just like to thank everyone for this award. Deserved it. Uh, players in Team of the Year. Jimenez got in there, along with Ben Hur. Uh, that'll be that, though. I don't think there was a bench, was there? No, Ben Hur, rightly on it, though. It's fair to say. Uh, with Lugo, the West Ham youngster from Mexico. Very, very good player. Also in there. Deserves that, too. City's back five got in it, which is fair enough. Dorfer wants to discuss personal matters. Jimenez is annoyed we didn't win a trophy. I mean, we were close, mate. Apparently, the damage is done and he wants to leave. Um, all right. He's, just go, then, mate. Just, just go. Okay, so the big news, viewers. And, um, oh, for God, hang on. So, the big news, as I continue forward, uh, trying to find out about FFP. Um, uh, end of season awards. Ben Hur wins Fan Player of the Year. Murphy got gold of the season. Mackay was signing of the year. Young player again, Ben Hur. I don't think he'll win that next year. He'll be, he'll be a bit too old. As uh, a few other bits and pieces that don't matter massively. Uh, financially, then, we, I think we've still failed. FFP. I don't know what that's going to mean. Discuss plans for next season. Uh, next season, I think we need to we need to go for it. We need to go for the Champions League next season. They're all for it. Good. Delighted. Ben Hur is unhappy that we didn't develop the club's young players and wants to leave with the earliest opportunity. That's good, isn't it? That's solid. That's that's really good. That's what you want to read. Oh God! So much news has just hit us there. Okay. Uh, the current financial fair play period for the Europa Cup has ended, and we've, we've, we're fine with that. The end of the Premier League, we've been fined. Okay, I can, well, whatever. Right, we're fine in Europe, but in terms of the Premier League, fined £941,000, which isn't good, is it? Uh, there's other news, though. We've been hit by a t with a tax bill of just over £2 million. That's okay. Uh, commercial summary, Ben Hurst sold a lot of shirts. Thank you if you've bought one. Uh, a lot of you actually do have Ben Hurst shirts, so that's quite funny. Um, steady expansion planned, £42,000. Um... <laughs> Sorry, what? We're relocating to Wembley. Wembley Stadium. Wembley Stadium. We're going to Wembley Stadium for the final year. Okay, uh, that sort of slipped out. Um, next year will be the final season with Thames. Um, officially, I guess the series will end next season. No matter what happens. Uh, the series has gone on longer than I thought it would. Um, if people would like me to continue to play this as maybe part of a stream or something, maybe we could do that. But next season will be the final season of the Thames series uh, in official episode format. So I'm kind of giving myself a bit of leeway there. Basically, FM19 comes out not that long ago, and I don't really want this to spill into next year's game. Uh, and with that game coming out sort of middle of October, I don't think I'll have time for two seasons. And this was kind of always the plan, right? Was to get there and challenge. And of course, you want to win the Champions League and the Premier League. But next season is the final year. Hopefully it goes well. I mean, we were pretty close this year. First time in the Champions League. It's going to be quite the journey. Um, hopefully you're okay with that. I've, I guess telling you now prepares you for it better. But um, it's been my most fun series ever. And of course, there's still leeway that I could do streams or I could do maybe update episodes if you wanted to see the continuation of Thames. But official Thames format series uh, or, or Thames series format will not be continuing beyond this point. So um, and by the, at this point, I mean the end of next season. We have one more year still to go, of course. Um, but that's going to bring us to the end of this episode. If you've enjoyed it, please leave a like. Want to see more? Subscribe to the channel comment section thoughts i am genuinely interested you may be able to sway me i guess we'll see uh goodbye oh, didn't win the league and we got fined bloody hell